what it do YouTube and I'm back with another video man and today well as y'all see if y'all reading the title y'all know what this video is about man I'm moving out of a luxury apartment in Phoenix Arizona to live in my vehicle now some people call me crazy you know but I feel like if you know you know um rent right now is outrageous the prices go up every year and they don't even change nothing with the apartment um i don't even see how they're legal in the first place how do you raise the rent every year but nothing changes in the apartment and new tenants coming in the apartment moving in the apartments they rent cheaper than yours and you already showed them that you can pay your rent on time for a whole year but they keep raising the rent i don't understand it but this is why i'm making the move man I was going from paying for what, twenty two hundred um dollars a month. So you do the math, twenty two hundred a month. That's all bills included, rent, light, uh, Wi Fi, and all that stuff. All that's included. Twenty two hundred a month times that by twelve. Don't worry, I wait. Almost three, almost thirty thousand dollars just in one year. It doesn't make sense to me, man. Um, I feel like I can use that money to buy my own land. My goal is to get my own land and live off grid. That's the ultimate goal. But land out in the Phoenix, well, not gonna say Phoenix, but land out in Arizona, like on the outskirts of Phoenix and stuff like that, is actually pretty cheap. You know, you can get like an acre for about five to five to eight thousand dollars, and I just spent almost thirty thousand just living in an apartment. And what I got to show for it at the end? My security deposit back? It don't make sense to me, man. And right now, it's the best time to live in your vehicle if you're in Arizona because it's fall. So the weather's cooling down. Um, I actually lived in my vehicle last year for about six months. And the only reason I got an apartment is because my son, uh, my son's back in um, Indiana, so I thought he was coming down here to visit and stuff, but unfortunately, they didn't come this year. So I'm like, man, I might as well go back to living in my vehicle, saving my money, and just go from there, man. I know everybody, I know everybody's understanding, like, rent is high, man. It's high, and it really doesn't make sense, man. I feel like, um, I don't know, man, I just feel like it's time for a change, man, because I can't keep doing the same stuff year after year, and it's not getting me nowhere. You can barely save money. You can barely make ends meet. I was working with two jobs. Um, I didn't have to, but it's like, after you pay your bills, what you got? A couple hundred to spend on yourself? It's like you're working to pay bills, and it doesn't make sense. So, man, I'm making this change, man. And shout out Winter is Blue on YouTube. Uh, he do van life. And he really inspired me, man, because he's actually doing doing what I want to do. I want to travel, live in my vehicle, see the world, and just don't have to worry about paying no high bills every month. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. And if I do decide, you feel me, to get a place to stay, I want to be off-grid. I want to have my own land. And I want to just build from ground up. Um, that's the ultimate goal. So I know a lot of people feel me on this video. And the job market right now is terrible. Um, I do have a nice paying job. Uh, I do make decent money. So going for paying $2,200 a month to paying what? Maybe, okay, I got storage that's $60 a month. My phone bill is $30. That's $90. Bucks. Uh, I probably eat maybe about 75 dollars a week so we're just gonna say 300 a month um so we at what 390 what else i pay in gas so i probably spend about 50 dollars on gas a week so that's what 200 a month so i probably spend about 500 dollars a month on all my expenses counting my storage fees gas food um what else gas food storage and phone bill other than that, I won't have no expenses. Uh, I was thinking about getting a gym membership. And that probably around me about um, 
probably about thirty dollars a month. So like I said, we about like at five hundred dollars a month. So going from paying twenty two hundred dollars a month to paying five hundred dollars a month, I'm saving seventeen hundred dollars a month. And that, that that's just counting the bill money. I'm not counting my other money I make. That's just you feel me. That's already accounted for. We just talking about the bill money strictly that's coming out of my check every month. Man, y'all do the math in three months. Seventeen hundred times three. Like I said, land costs about five to eight thousand dollars out here in Arizona, so I can do that two months, save about eight thousand dollars, get some land, and that's appreciating value. Like it's not, I'm not gonna be left. It, I'm not gonna be left empty-handed at the end. You feel me? Um, with a lease, you left empty-handed. You feel me? Now you getting your security deposit back, and then they want to play with that. Sometimes they don't even want to give you the, the uh, security deposit back, depending on how you live. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like I needed to make this video, man. I know it's a lot of people out there feel like I feel. Um, I hope your situation change. My situation is definitely finna change. Um, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all in the next video. This what I'm leaving, y'all. Nice luxury apartment. Um, yeah, man. It's nice, but is it really worth it? I'm not going to own nothing living here. So, yeah. Man, I'm excited to live off grid, to be honest, man. It's been a long time coming for me. Been a long time coming for me, man. I'm excited for what God got in store for me. Yeah.